don't mind the stain, this is just <laughs> water from my very wet hair. Hello beautiful people! So welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about seven different ways that you guys can utilize to wake up at 5 a.m. or whichever time you guys want to wake up. I usually wake up between 5 and 7 a.m. seven days a week, or at least I try to, just so I can be super productive because I am more of a morning person. This definitely depends on the kind of person you are. Some people are morning people, some people are night people, some people are just middle of the day people. It all really depends on the kind of lifestyle that you want to live. So I have seven different tips that will help you guys wake up early. Uh, the first one is to not set so many alarms. I know this is probably going to contradict everything that you already do because personally, I used to set like six, seven alarms in the morning, like two minutes apart, just so I would make sure I would wake up. But recently, I've discovered that actually putting on less alarms is way more helpful because then by the time the second alarm comes, I like know if I don't get up now, I'm going to oversleep and I'm going to be fucking late. So I actually used this um, little app right here. It's called Alarmy. So basically all you have to do is open up the app and it has different kinds of missions. Um, so you can have default, which is just the alarm ringing itself. Or you can shake, math problems, take a picture, barcode, or a memorize game. I used to do the take a picture one when I actually used to use one of the missions. Um, I would always take a picture of my bathroom light switch because I knew I'd have to get up, walk all the way to the bathroom, and by the time I'm already in the bathroom, then it's like, you know, like, might as well just fucking get up and do your shit. And I also set one alarm on the Apple clock alarm thing. <laughs> I read that when you keep snoozing your alarm, it actually disrupts your sleep. So even when you do go back to sleep after, you're not going to get a proper sleep. So you're still going to wake up just as tired as you would have if you woke up at 5 a.m. like you wanted to. So number two is literally just fucking get up. Get up. Don't even think about it. Just like throw off the blanket and just power up. Like I know you probably have that good morning, you want to text to your boo, but you can fucking wait until you're in the bathroom or in the shower or wherever to do that. I literally don't even check half my notifications until I'm at the gym doing my warm up. Definitely, definitely helps to just get up and ignore your notifications. So number three is to drink water right when you get up. Like literally get up, brush your teeth if you have to. I always brush my teeth before I put anything in my mouth because it tastes like bacteria going down my throat. So I am personally not a coffee drinker at all whatsoever. I only ever drink coffee or have like espresso and Americanos when I really need it, like if I'm going to be staying up super late doing an assignment or something, or else water is my best friend. Water in your morning especially is super good because it helps flush out any toxins that you have. So if you had like a super rough night the night before, like you were out drinking or something, it'll definitely help flush all that icky stuff out of your body. And another reason I really encourage you to drink water right when you wake up is because dehydration is one of the leading causes of fatigue and it's also one of the leading causes of headaches. So if you're the kind of person that wakes up with a headache, wakes up super groggy, wakes up super tired, drink more water throughout the day in the morning right when you wake up because it'll definitely help you feel better. So another thing I do to make sure I can wake up really early is I get up and I go straight to my bathroom and I turn on the light. Your body produces a hormone called melatonin throughout the night which basically regulates your sleeping cycle. And when it's dark and your eyes are closed, the melatonin production increases. But as soon as you hit light, it decreases. So it helps you wake up a lot faster than you would if you were waking up in a pitch dark room. Number five is get enough sleep. Sleep is so important. I feel like a lot of people neglect it. I am honestly one of those people that kind of neglects it. Um, you're supposed to get about seven to eight hours for the average adult. I usually get around six, sometimes seven. Basically sleep is super good for you. It helps regulate all the functions and all the systems throughout your body. It helps keep you more alert, helps keep you more awake, and it just, dude, sleep is just fucking good for you. <laughs> So make sure you're getting enough sleep for your body. I know there's some people in the world that have like this genetic mutation where they only require like four to six hours of sleep, but if you're not one of those people, I know I'm not, then definitely, definitely get the seven to eight hours every night if you can. It will help you. Your body will thank you. And number six is to have your workout clothes laid out and ready. So I usually prepare my workout clothes the night before and I just hang it over my dresser. This includes my underwear, my socks, my sports bra, everything that I will need in the morning. So I don't even have to think about it. Get up, go to the bathroom, go change and leave. 
Like it was literally all you have to do in the morning and it makes getting out of the house so much easier. You don't have to lollygag around and you're not like sitting in your bed thinking, oh, like what do I wear? It's so much easier. And last but not least, number seven is to go fasted. Now, I know this isn't gonna work for everyone, but this is what personally works best for me. This is what I find helps me not even just wake up, but this is helpful for my body when my body weight goals and everything. I have read in places that uh, going to work out fasted, especially if you're doing weights, it decreases muscle mass. I personally have not noticed that. I continue to build and maintain my muscle, but that's also dependent on your body type. So if you have a certain type of body, it might decrease your muscle mass. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not a nutritionist. So definitely this is something you need to research before you do it. There are also a lot of studies that say that uh, fasted cardio does a lot more for fat loss than it would than uh, regular cardio would if you've eaten. This also depends on how long you fasted for, like depending on what time you went to bed and what time you ate last night. I usually fast for about 13-14 hours depending on what time I wake up and what time I eat my breakfast. Uh, that's just how it ends up being. I've never like planned it, but um, that's just how it goes. And when you fast for more than 12 hours, it typically goes into uh, metabolizing fat. So if you haven't eaten in 12 hours, then usually that will happen or else it will continue to metabolize your carbs. So those are my seven tips to help you guys wake up early in the morning. I really hope you guys use them. If you guys do, then please let me know down below if they worked for you. If they didn't, if there's any other tips that you have that help you wake up early, then also let, leave them down below. It'll be great. Um, and if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. You guys can also follow me on my Instagram and everything. The links will be all in the description bar. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys really liked this video. And I will see you guys sometime soon.